What up everyone, it's Scared and I'm back again with a brand new video. So today itself, I'm talking about season three of Sex Education. Now, Sex Education is something I enjoyed at the start, like watching the first two seasons for the most part. I was like, oh yeah, this is funny. This is stupid, the acting's great. It was very enjoyable, but I didn't really get that with season three. I have a few problems with how they took the show and how they continued the story on. So with season 3 continuing on with Otis's journey and everything else that the surrounding cast is doing essentially, there are going to be a few missteps. And the first big one, for me at least, came with Isaac. Now, I really did not like Isaac at the end of season 2 and with what he did to Otis and Maeve and everything. And in this season, Maeve and him kind of like are growing and everything and suddenly in season 2, he just tells her that uh, he deleted the voicemail and everything and it doesn't feel like there are any dire consequences for him and it also just came out of nowhere it, it could have been played out but it was just like oh we have this great build up and then suddenly here it is just flatlined because he just told her the truth both of them did something bad both otis and isaac and she still goes with isaac at least for the most part and it just felt like why are you doing going with him or why did you do it this way? Why didn't you drag it out and make him into more of an unlikable character? Because it's not like him telling the truth has redeemed him because what he did in season two was pretty bad and there is no other reason why I would care for him. Like, he does truly care for Maeve, sure, but I don't know, it's just, there's nothing else going for him. Speaking of unlikable, Otis is once again <laughs> continuing on that journey. We know he's struggling with a lot of things and being the main character, he is trying to juggle a few too many balls and he's stumbling quite a bit. Everything he did with Ruby was really nice and enjoyable to see and he does such a stupid thing when she says I love you, he says oh that's nice. I don't, I can't believe he actually said that. And you know, I love what they did with Ruby this season, they made me care for her which I did not expect and I did not think would happen. At the same time, what they did with her when she saw him kissing Maeve and everything in the later episodes, she kind of just disappeared off the map then and then she suddenly appears to fight the headmaster in the studio or whatever and then she's gone again and it's like oh okay going on from otis and ruby the other power couple is eric and adam and power couple is a really terrible word to use because i did not like them as a couple at the end of season two i was wondering why is eric going with adam instead of going with raheem when he clearly has a better relationship with raheem it's pretty bad for him to be going back or well, not necessarily back but going to someone that bullied him and all this kind of stuff there was nothing there to feel like oh yeah this makes a lot of sense for him to go with adam instead of raheem and season three just kind of proves that point because him and adam break up and they're clearly struggling throughout the season and he once again kisses another man despite being in a relationship and you know adam's character is great that he's going on his own little journey and everything but i was like this was a terrible way to go about it because I knew this relationship wouldn't work and I knew that, you know, it's why did you have to go through it this way because in doing so they've kind of just made me not care for Eric even more. In Nigeria itself there was a really uh, bad moment in my opinion when he's in the taxi and he's going to the club or whatever with Oba uh, because it's, you know, they have to hide being gay and stuff and the the director whoever filmed this made this purposely tried to mislead you into thinking oh no he's been tricked and something bad's gonna happen like i get it they're doing it because oh you can't publicly be like that you know in a taxi because then something might go wrong but then it felt like it was just a big red herring just to make us think he made a huge mistake and i really think he should have made a huge mistake they really set that up they had him you know clearly sending messages romantically to some to adam um, and then they had him have the picture of him and Adam put him in his bag and everything like that uh, They had the mother continually bring up how he's got to try to hide it and everything like that And then you know nothing really came about it. It was just like oh no something might happen Ah oh, no, you know it's fine. Hope was just really bad Like obviously she's a terrible person for trying to do what she did The students didn't really help but the fact that they thought they could get away with putting on that presentation and you know publicly singing that song and everything what did they expect the investors and everything to do for a season which talks a lot about funding because they're like oh Maeve you need this money or oh, I have this plenty a lot of money and everything like that it's like well 
you guys really would have thought about this stuff and <laughs> you're not like all that stupid <laughs> but um apparently they are <laughs> and uh they still did it so hope you know publicly humiliating um all three of those students was really bad and i'm like how did she get away with this and this is set in some you know weird timeline where you know history is different where they have phones and all this kind of stuff in like the 80s or something i don't know but surely teacher or two would have spoken up about it and done something or it's like this is really bad press all the kids have to do is just take out their phone which we know they have during assembly because you know three of them up there have their phone on them and put it online and it's like oh this is this is a really bad thing for a school to do it doesn't really help with publicity does it and then at the same time <laughs> hope just suddenly goes from being this very manipulative person and just blatantly telling viv that she doesn't care for any of these students or anything and it's like okay that yeah i get that she has a lot of pressure on her and everything but you didn't really put in enough effort to kind of justify oh she's suddenly cracking now and she's just saying it as it is because we know she's not a stupid person she was smart she came out the way she did in that first assembly because she knew to get the students attention and speaking of poorly done uh character development i'll say uh, what's her face? The Lily, the alien chick that's really into all that kind of stuff. I think they just didn't know what to do with her and they're like, oh, we can tie her into this and say, you know, being into aliens and all this kind of stuff sexually is, you know, something that students should be able to express and whatnot. You know, something's a little wrong there and <laughs> it continuing into while you're in your final year of high school or whatever and you thinking, like, she, it's weird, she says, oh, no one else, you know, really got this stuff apart from you, Ola, and everything. And then she still decides to post it publicly in this competition, even though everyone around her has never really supported her or agreed with what she said. What did she expect the reaction to be if she herself knew that no one else out there thinks like that? Obviously, there was that one person which is somehow enough to convince her to do otherwise. That was such a really quick scene. It reminds me of like that Bucky scene where he talks to the man of the father of the man he killed, and it was just like that. Her getting publicly humiliated, sure, was terrible and i feel for her for that but then at the same time i just didn't really care for what she did and everything like that and yeah ola very pushed to the side as well just there to support other people talking about other characters the horrible history guy definitely feels a lot more prominent in this season and i love seeing him he's just a fun stupid guy and he's he's it's so cool to see so with that all said and done that's my thoughts on uh, season three of Sex Education. It's not like it was a terrible season. It was, you know, there's far worse shows out there, but I just felt like this season was poorly written. I felt like there could have been many better things done with the characters. And I found some of the episodes to be slow and kind of, eh. This season's episode one was clearly the best because it was very reminiscent of previous seasons. And it felt like, okay, we'll give them this episode which is like what they know. And then we'll just suddenly turn down the quality of the show itself going on. If there is a season 4, it may be worth what season 3 is. But with this season on its own and seeing it how it's compared to previous seasons, I just wasn't too huge of a fan. Now, that doesn't mean I really hated it. Honestly, it's like a 6 out of 10 because I still enjoyed parts of it here and there. I was just disappointed by what I got from it. So... Yeah, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, maybe there are things which I missed or forgot and I'm just like, oh, if I had this scene which I remembered or which I forgot or something, it would affect this and all this kind of stuff. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video at least. You can hit that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, I'll see us.